welcome back. Um, I'm going to do a book review tonight. I hope all of you had a chance to read some of our suggestions or to look some of them over. I'm going to review one of our suggestions, which was Frankenstein. And um, it's a very small book, 166 pages, this edition. So it really wasn't too much of a time commitment, but I will say this is a very dark book. So it's not a light 160 page read that you're just going to take with you to stand in line somewhere. It's really dark and it doesn't really let up. And I feel like, like with a lot of books that get this dark, that um, what makes it even sadder is that there's so much good intention on everyone in the book, and yet things just get worse and worse. And I don't want to give anything away, but like Dr. Frankenstein is not horrible. He has really good intentions, and things just get out of hand. And... Um, and then at the end, it, it just seems like you're not really sure where was the redeeming part of this. I mean, it's just it's just really tragic and really sad. Um, I will say that um, just from what I've read about it, that it was one of it was like an early science fiction kind of book. It um, a lot of people have done a lot of research on just kind of like where Mary Shelley would have gotten her ideas, where like the fact that some of the parts of the monster that Frankenstein pulled together were from like the slaughterhouse and things like, what does this eight foot monster really look like? So there's a lot of like really creepy elements to it. You can really read a lot about it. I mean, I know it's a short, a short book, but lots of people have done a lot of um, really deep analysis about it on YouTube you can find some much more deep reviews than this, than this particular video. But it is, it's very interesting. The more you read it, I have a feeling the more you can pull out of it. Um, one of the biggest tragedies, I think, is just how misunderstood the monster is. And when you get through, or I guess I should say Frankenstein's creation, um, when you get about halfway through, you just realize, things aren't going to be good for him, which isn't, which is bad because he was, he was good intentioned and it's not quite like of mice and men kind of thing, but it's, it's still pretty tragic. And I would definitely recommend it as like a pretty dark dreary book. Cause there's always, there's reasons for those books. There's times when that's what you want to read. You don't want a happy light ending. You want something that really grabs you and makes you feel really morose. That's this book. Yay. But not if you're, you know, just kicking back when a little feel-good read. You know, you had a hard week. Don't kick back with Frankenstein. But if you really want to just delve in and just really examine the dark nature and how things could turn out, even from the best of intentions, then this is definitely the book for you to read. And also, added bonus, it's on my 100 book bucket list. So I got to scratch it off. My dear friend Coloni got me this. I only have 51 more books to read. And I got to, I think it's in here somewhere. It's a pitchfork. I think it's that one. So it's a classic. You know, get to scratch off my scratch off. Um, there's lots of good reasons to read it. I would say I recommend it. Just go in with the wide open eyes that you're going to be a little um, sad when you finish. All right. I hope you like my review and um, like and subscribe and comment and I will see you next time. Bye.